Hey everyone, really quick before the video starts, I put a poll together. It is linked in the description, the very first link in the description. If you would do me a huge favor and take just a moment to check out that poll and answer a few questions on the Rise to War and Season 2, I would really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to get some more clear and concise information on what the general majority is feeling for the game, for the updates uh, coming with Season 2, uh, and any feedback is extremely, extremely appreciated. So if you would not mind checking that out to give me a better understanding of where the general player base is standing on these things happening in the game as well as having more clear information that could be passed along to the devs possibly uh, i would greatly appreciate it so check that out uh, and now let's get on with the video hey everyone welcome to the channel all things middle earth here with a video with some more season two confirmation I did a video uh, a few days ago on some official information they had put out in the game. And obviously with new information comes new questions. And so they've adjusted a lot of those things uh, and a lot of good information for us here. So I wanted to go through this really quick. I'm not going to go through every single question because some of this was already stuff that we knew. But I wanted to go through some of the ones uh, that were bigger issues for people. Uh, I will link this Discord in the description below. This is the official Lord of the Rings uh, Rise to War Discord in the common questions tab. So if you're not in here already, I would suggest doing that so you can stay up to date with the game news also while you're in the description the link to all of my extra links is in the dis uh, description there's one link that then takes you to all my different stuff so it's kind of easier instead of having a million things there but uh, we've got my discord twitch all that kind of good stuff so if you want to check those things out uh, that would be awesome but again we're going to get into this really quick make it short and sweet so uh, again they start off by saying there's a lot of confusion over specific mechanics in the new season specifically people have been concerned about the idea of uh, not being able to play with all the same people in your server uh, if they weren't in the same faction. And so they did address that. Uh, first one, when does, when does the season end? Seasons are generally two to three months in length, and it's according to their server's completion of their season targets. The first group of tacticians that are already available to a uh, new season will enter the season two merging process from November 25th. So again, there's a UI indicator in your game above or below the gems and the gold. And so if you are within the final two weeks of your server, you'll see those there. If not, uh, it, it'll come eventually. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but uh, servers that started right away very early, the first 20 servers are gonna be merging first and then things will just move from there. So uh, that's season end right there. Uh, what is retained and reset in a new season? I'm not going to go through this, but this is a very, very specific list of what is retained and what is reset. So if you want to check this out, again, I'll link the Discord. I'll also just put this whole post in the description. So if you want to go down there and look through that, you can. Uh, but some, you know, people had asked about, well, do you do you keep math and metals? Uh, you know, we we, we assumed you keep gems because they cost real money. But what about math and metals? Because you used to buy that with the gems. You do keep math and metals. Uh, so everything's pretty detailed there for what is kept and what is reset. So if you wanted to double check on something there, uh, those are right here in the post. Next, uh, will special servers have a season two? Yes, after the season one, um, they are no longer considered special servers and will now act as regular servers and function in the same way. In season two, there'll be role-playing servers and non-role-playing servers for players to choose from. How can players know the season is ending? Again, like I mentioned earlier, there's a UI indicator. It's under the gold and the gems. If you wanna check out my video where I was in game looking at this, I'll link that in the top right. Uh, but again, that's just up there. This UI indicator will show um, the timeline of when it's progressing and you'll have a specific date of when your servers is ending. So for my server, server two, uh, it says in there, the season end date is the 24th of November with the 25th, the following day being the merge date, uh, still to be, to be heard or determined, uh, you know, if, if it ends on the 24th, I, uh, it's going to be 10 PM. My time it ends. Um, you know, is that mean like at midnight when it, when it goes to the 25th, you go right away. Is there a specific launch time? I'm sure there will be, but we haven't heard a specific time, uh, yet for that. It's just been the date of the 25th for that server too. Uh, that's on season ending. How are the server merges decided? Server merging is done semi-manually by developers. Sounds like it's going to be a pain for them, so uh, hopefully it's done well. This allows them to ensure that the server merge merging are of the relatively same progression. Uh, will I have to rebuild my Warband and Fellowship? Uh, this was not something that we are surprised by, but just to clarify, uh, yes, your Warbands, your Fellowships, they do not carry over. Kind of a bummer, but uh, again, everything is being restarted. It's giving people a chance to choose new factions, uh, to play different styles if they want to, um, to join different types of servers with the role-playing and non-role-playing, as well as uh, starting a new a new fellowship or warband. So 
that is that there. Uh, will players who participate in the role-playing server be able to choose a different faction than the one they played in Season 1? Yes, the option to choose a new faction will be enabled for those who choose to play on the role-playing server in Season 2. Uh, and again, my understanding for this as well, if you're switching from good to evil or from evil to good, uh, you'll be able to do that. You just won't be able to play with the opposite alignment commanders in a role-playing server. Now, if you're playing in a non-role-playing server, uh, they're allowing you to do a lot more. Um, but uh, that is that there. Uh, then will players from the same server who participated in different factions in season one be able to play together in season two on the same role playing server? Uh, yes, in this case, mindful of the fact that the players must choose role playing server, even if they belong to different factions. That's the key there because this is this caused an uproar. Even if they belong to different factions, they will be able to play on the same role playing server in season two. So uh, rest easy if you're playing in the same server as people, but they're in different factions, you will have a chance to group up in season two if you would like to do that. I think this is going to make a lot of people happy. I'm not sure if this was something that was changed or just miscommunicated the first time, but either way, that's a, that's a good thing to see there. Uh, and then kind of wrapping up here, we've got if player A chooses role-playing server while player B chooses non-role-playing server, will the two friends of the same server in season one stay together for the same server in season two? No, uh, we, we already knew this was going to be the case. But again, if I'm playing in server two and I choose role-playing, someone else in server two chooses non-role-playing, non we will not be in the same server for the season two. Um, so that's uh, that, again, shouldn't come as a surprise, but they have kind of over-clarified things there. So Again, I'll have this link in the description below, so check that out. But uh, this is kind of just more clarification on things coming for Season 2, uh, making it a little bit more clear. Hopefully, people are getting excited for it. I know I'm very excited for the start of that, just wanting to hear, I guess, a specific time so I can plan on when I'm going to have videos coming out and be live streaming and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but whenever we find out the exact time, uh, unless it is absolutely horrible for me in real life, we're going to try and be live during that time so uh, so we can hang out with people as we're starting a new a new chapter for this game but uh, that is going to do it for me in this video if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button to join our fellowship here on youtube and uh yeah if there's more information about season two that comes out i'll be sure to cover that as much as possible because i know some people uh use youtube as a means for their news communication for the game so uh, again uh, stay tuned if there's more stuff coming out i'll be sure to put it here but that's everything for me today and i'll see you guys in the next one uh -huh.